<sighs> hey guys hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back if you're new here my name is Wangui and I create homemaking content that's cleaning organizing decorating I do lifestyle vlogs and hauls today's video is going to be a bit of maintenance update and a haul because I just got my nails done and I got my hair retouched and of course I have to share with you these details because some of you be waiting for my new sets to copy me and it's fine it's fine that's why I'm here <laughs> <laughs> to plug you guys on nice nail designs especially for my simple girlies the ones that don't like a lot of acrobatics when it comes to nails yeah so today is today is tuesday i left the house yesterday monday morning i went to do my nails and my hair so i got a pedi and a money and i got my hair retouched so that was a whole day experience as usual i went to theory nails and wigs pala for my nails and i went to danielle's for my locks i'm going to tag all these pages but you can check them out and you can book your appointments to get your nails or hair done so yeah so i left yesterday morning I went to do that my intention was to come back in the evening but i did not because i met up with my friend and we decided to have a nice little dinner date and it got so late it started raining so i was like you know what i'm not going back to my house and that's how i found myself at her house good thing i have a whole set of clothes at her house i have like two to three changes of clothes so i, I wasn't worried and another thing that would have probably worried me was skincare but luckily we have the same skin type and we use the same face care product so i was like you know what let's let's just go to your house i'm sorted and tomorrow i'll be okay to leave then today morning i had a site visit oh my god i'm so excited about this one i had a site visit for studio mall and it was closer to where she lives so it even made sense for me to stay over at her place yeah so i went for the site visit then after the site visit i decided you know what i think i just need to shop for the house today because i don't intend to leave anytime this week today is tuesday and i haven't done a lot of my admin work i have a lot of planning to do now i have these projects that i need to work on so so of course I have to like be home and do a lot and I also have my writing work that I need to follow up on I need to just a lot and I need to edit videos because I've just been creating and I'm not getting time to edit them yeah so I wanted to share with you what I've gotten for my haul this is like a monthly stock up I know I had I have just been shopping too much but the thing is yeah shopping is therapy for me and i just felt like everything was just finishing at around the same time so i needed to stock up for the month or even beyond but first i wanted to show you guys my nails this is this month's set it's so cute it's a sky bluish kind of color it's lighter than sky blue and then i have a nude nail with some floral details there on that finger super super cute i've been loving my nails in this squareish kind of shape and just short just like they are naturally these are my natural nails you can see that these are my natural nails they just have some overlays just to keep them strong but that's basically it i love my new nails so 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 much they look so amazing and i feel so comfortable because i do a lot of typing and i clean my house myself like i do a lot of cooking i can't i can't be doing acrobatics with nails and my personality doesn't go well with those long clothes mm -mm. It can't it can't it's just not my vibe at all i'm a simple girl and i like simple stuff in fact i've really tried this month to get some color if you know me so well <laughs> you know that i will always have some nudes browns if i try so hard some pink so this time i was like you know what let me let's do some color let's do some color and i did that so i went to Thierry. i got this my toes are pink my toes are pink with a small flower and then my hair i got it retouched obviously at daniel's he's the same guy that did my locks these are artificial locks i've had them for this is this will be the third month so yeah so i got them retied and they are so neat and cute and it's a bit painful like i wouldn't say it's pain it's just a little discomfort just of uh, of course on the scalp because of the hair being tighter than usual but it's not painful i can't compare this to the pain you feel when you do like regular braids so it's 
it's manageable. Right. By tomorrow, I shouldn't be feeling anything and I slept okay. It's not super painful. It's just a bit of discomfort. And they look amazing. They look amazing. I've been loving this style so much because I don't need to style it. I just need to hold it up in a bun, moisturize it once in a while, and that's it. So please check out Daniel's um, Dreadlocks Kenya and go get your locks done if you're looking to change up your style and just need something versatile and something easy to maintain as usual i'm going to leave his page here you can go and check him out as well as theories so that you can go get your nails done okay yes so enough of my maintenance um shenanigans i'm here to do my facial i should probably schedule it for later this week or maybe early next week yeah i need to do my facial i usually get it done at thrive beauty spa please check them out actually we have a mother's day giveaway but by the time this video is going up it will be done so if you're not following me on instagram trust and believe these things will just be passing you by like a new car just passing you by so please make sure you follow me on instagram for giveaway updates nice nice stuff over there quick updates when i get lost oh okay i don't plan to get lost <laughs> but at least i'm more present there and we are able to talk over there so please make sure you follow me so now i went to Kafo today after my site visit and i decided to shop for the house but before i show you what i got from Kafo, i want to share with you a pair of shoes that i got from butter i got a pair of shoes from butter i went to the butter that is at trm that's the closest Kafo to me and i got some notes star that's the brand i think it's the same old north star and i got myself a pair of cute sneakers they're so cute i don't know what happened it's me buying such kind of shoes mm -mm. Mm -mm, I don't think it's me. I think it's someone else. I think it's someone else because I'm such a girly girl. I'm just here in shiny flats and ballerina flats, but this is where we are at. I needed a pair of sneakers that doesn't like petisha water. <laughs> Please guys i'm new to this thing so i don't know what that means but it's like a good synthetic fabric that i can easily wipe and wear and i wanted it in all black everything black so that i can wear it with jeans with dresses with everything with tights everything that i want to wear it with so it's from north star i think it's from north star and surprisingly it was super super affordable i only paid 1800 bob for this pair which shocked me because it looks like a really 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 quality shoe you see it's so sturdy and it's very lightweight i know it looks like it's heavy but it's super super lightweight so i went a size down usually i would do 38 but i did 37 because it has a wide foot spitting so it's good enough for my foot because i tend to swell and that's the reason why i don't wear closed shoes a lot but this has like enough room and even when i wore it i left some space to wear socks with it so really cute i don't know if you will find them but it comes in a white as well so if you're looking for like some nice basic sneakers i would say you go check out butter the closest to you and see if you will find 1800 i think it's a steal and it's quite a quality shoe especially now that it's raining you know at least i can wear it out in the mud and not worry about cleaning it so super super perfect and very comfortable it has a high platform and it has an insole so it's very good very very good so check that out so i got that just as a treat <laughs> i don't need so many shoes but i've been feeling like i need a waterproof shoe especially now that it's raining and now from nowhere i have so many errands to run with projects and with finishing decorating my house and with all these small small things that i'm doing i need to be out more then uh, this is some wine this is some wine that my client got me so super excited about that actually i'm gonna have a glass okay there's another one there that i was drinking <laughs> but i must have a glass of that wine amazing and then <laughs> this is such a funny buy i got myself a tape measure because sasa nimekuwa fundi wow wow how nimesha kuwa food so i had to get a tape measure i wanted to steal his but mm -mm. i was like you know what god will not bless me if i steal i need to buy my own so i had to buy my own it's a 7.5 meter 
tape measure and I used it for the first time today. Amazing, right? Yes. I've been talking for 10 minutes and I haven't shown you guys the whole. Let's get into it. So, let's start with this fragile stuff over here. So, I got some basil from Kafo. I hope they have survived the trip back home. <laughs> I got some basil. I need to get, uh, I need to report this in a pot I have outside the balcony. So, I got some oh my god so i got some basil a few weeks ago but it was over matured so it's kind of growing old and it's not producing fresh new leaves so i don't like it i'm just going to get rid of it and use this one i think this was like a hundred bob and something these two plants are usually very affordable by the way i paid like i think it was 300 for two i got some basil and i got some thyme and I got some time as well and this was the only one left actually the last piece of time left I had some time as well but it was overgrown so when I reported it it just dried and I had to get them thank you to the person that recommended I get the Kafo ones and that they've been working for them thank you so much and if you have balcony hubs and plants please share with us the tips and we can try and keep our little plants alive thank you very much so let's get into the haul first up toilet paper it was on offer today now we're just grabbing anything that is on offer well not so much well, of course like some brands we have to keep i love tena i don't mind it but i bought it today because it was purely on offer it was 270 ah two it was 470 something for 79 or something for 12 toilet paper rolls and i was like you know what i think that's a good deal because everything else was above 500 bob and it was for 10 so i was like you know i have two more and it's on offer let me grab it so this should last me a while because i still have some more left then i'm loyal to velvex serviettes because they are thicker than the other serviettes on the market so i got the twin pack i think it was 200 and something i had to buy as much as i could just to you know because i eat these things i just go over these things so quickly and then i got the carrefour kitchen roll i usually get the velvex ones but they didn't have the twin pack today and the other one was gonna be expensive buying one one so i looked for a cheaper option and this was like 315 and i have never used it before but i think it's good and usually i just use this to like drain oil when i fry stuff or like wipe my hands wipe my counters clean around the house so it doesn't really matter what brand it is anyway so they that and then i got some cuddles fabric softener if you watch my laundry routine video you know that i said that this is my favorite fabric conditioner or softener i love how it smells i am not so huge on scents they just give me headaches so as simple and as soft and subtle um so the simplest of scents work for me so i had to get back to this one the last time i was shopping i didn't find it but today i found it it was 540 please don't ask me why i cram these prices it's because i make my own money and i have to account for every shilling <laughs> so some cuddles they should last me over a month because it's just my laundry and then talking of laundry i got a whole a whole five liter of vinegar white vinegar because i need this for my towels and for my bed sheets to keep them soft and i'm going to be using i want to test this out i'm going to use this with baking soda to deodorize and soften soften my clothes because i had i had that these fabric conditioners and softeners kind of leave some come on the machine and now you have to get it removed you have to get the drum removed and cleaned so someone recommended we use a lot um, we substitute uh, conditioner with vinegar and baking soda so my camera cut me off i don't know what's happening i need to figure out what's going on with the settings but yeah as i mentioned i'm going to be using this in my machine to soften and condition my clothes together with baking soda 
and use it to clean around the house use it to clean uh, the machine as well so I need to do a bit of research and when I do and once I have some good facts I'm going to share it with you guys but I know vinegar and baking soda is just a good mix for cleaning that's given that's for sure but I'm yet to understand how it works with the machine so I need to research so that I make sure I use the right portions for the right clothes and fabrics and all of that so once I have some facts ready I will share it with you so talking off I bought that and then so so I had to get of course a lot of baking soda unfortunately I didn't get like a big pack so I had to go with these small little packs I bought like five of these I'll get a jar and empty all of them into them into I'll get a jar and empty all of this into a jar and just label it for laundry so that I have baking soda for the kitchen and baking soda for laundry <laughs> yeah those two should be mixed so that's the whole point of getting this I got five packs I think each was 25 shillings the vinegar was I think 320 for the whole bottle for the whole five liter can which I think is much much more affordable than getting the smaller packs then still on cleaning products I got the Serrazo, the Serrazo tile cleaner. This is a magic. This is a magic product, guys, for your bathroom tiles and anywhere else you have stained tiles. My bathroom tiles are not stained, but I do give them a deep clean once a month. So usually I'll just dilute this with water. There are instructions here. And then I pour on the tiles and leave them for, and leave them for like a few minutes and then scrub and they turn out super clean, super, super squeaky clean. So Serrazo is from LX products, but they are stocked at Carrefour. So check uh, whatever Carrefour you have. They are also in hardware. So if you can find it, please get yourself some Serrazo. It's perfect. When I moved into this house, these tiles were super stained because this is a new build apartment. So it had like cement stains and paint stains and this, this did the magic for me my tiles have zero stains zero stains because of this product and it's super affordable i think this was like 120 bob for this a whole can okay this can do like twice or thrice uh, if I'm just doing like a small portion of the bathroom, but if you have like a big room there, There's a bigger can for it. So you can buy that and then I got some dishwashing liquid imagine I usually get the tea tree and orange Scent, but today I was just like, you know what? Let me just get the green one. I might just like it I know this is the original and I know most people swear by this and they haven't even bothered to try the other scents And for me, I'm just like, you know what? I don't really care It's just doing the dishes, but the scent is amazing. The scent is amazing I think I will move to this as long as I stay within morning fresh Because <laughs> I love it so much. It lathers so well I will definitely try that and see if I like it. Then I got my usual Magni kitchen cleaner. This is another magic product for my cooktop and countertops. This one, and it's I think the most affordable kitchen cleaner on the market. It's from Super Slick Brands and uh, comes in the name Magni Kitchen Cleaner. They have other products, bathroom, floor cleaner, all purpose cleaner, but I love their kitchen cleaner so much. I just spray this on my cooker, leave it to sit for a few minutes, and then wipe it down and leaves my counters super shiny and removes any grease grime it's actually an anti-greaser you can even use it on the floor if you have greasy floors or, or greasy cabinets wherever you can just use it anywhere and it works and this is like 220 and this should last me the next three months to be honest because it's just a small spritz and it's enough i got something for my bathroom which is the astonish bathroom cleaner white jasmine and basil this is from astonish i have been meaning to try their range of products well i've tried quite a few i have their oxy active for my machine i have their oven cleaner i've tried quite a number but i hadn't tried their bathroom cleaner and this is amazing for the walls for the bathroom walls and i just need to spray and then wipe down with a cloth or rinse with water so when i'm deep cleaning my bathroom floors i'll also deep clean my bathroom walls using this 
I will let you know how it works probably will do a cleaning video and I will share with you how these products perform I got this uh, bowl cleaners and air fresheners from blue bubble I love blue bubble it's a bit expensive than the others but this blue thing will last a very long time so I usually get a four pack and this can stay for like uh, one 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 whatever one roll or i don't know what one block can stay for like over a week so this should last the month uh and i love that blue color in the toilet bowl then i got a scrubbing brush it's not like super super stiff i needed like a mid-range bristol brush for cleaning some of my shoes especially the soles because sometimes like it's just muddy i just need a brush that can scrub off the mud and also just to scrub areas like the tiles or whatever i need to scrub i can use this one i have another one but i thought this was super cute i don't like the color red but i have to do with what i have because i didn't have other colors and it's just a brush it's just a brush anyway then i got some hooks these are the ones that come with some nails here and my intention for getting this is so as to hang some bathroom and uh, not bathroom to hang some bedroom shelves that need like a really really stable hook and because these ones come with nails i can nail them into the wall and they would be stable so i'll try to work with this if they don't work i'll definitely get like more heavy duty hooks but if this work then i should be okay we'll try that and see if they don't i'll just go to the hardware and get like bigger hooks or more heavy duty hooks and then i got some colgate i got the charcoal one because yeah i just wanted this i usually use sensodyne uh but i've been meaning to try this i will see how it works for me i usually get sensodyne because of my sensitive teeth but if this works i will switch to this because sensodyne is a bit more expensive Whew. that one small tub is like 500 bob and this is like under 300 bob so i will see i will see how it works but i had to get some to push me through the month and then i got some shavers of course to clean up clean up clean up and look like a girl well i have no issues with people keeping body hair i just don't keep mine and how can i go shopping and not buy a shower gel why and how and why not <laughs> i got myself another shower gel and it's in the cutest bottle it's so cute it's from savannah I don't know the brand but it smells it smells amazing mm, it smells so good it's actually so good i hope the scent won't bother me oh my god i'll try it and i will let you guys know but i had to get like a tiny little shower gel to just spoil myself today and just shower and enjoy and that's basically it this is like my 17th body gel shower gel but it is what it is. What to work in on a mzinga, mimi nanunua nini? Shower gels. Thank you very much. I think we're done with the toiletries. I think this time round, I bought a lot more toiletries than food because I've been topping up food kidogo kidogo. So I didn't need to really buy a lot of food. But I had to get some cooking oil. It was on offer, I think, 600 and something. So I got the 2 liter one. I have a 3 liter one going and it's halfway. So I thought a 2 liter one would be a nice casto cup. And I don't fry food a lot. So this one should last me till like July <laughs> or August even because, yeah, I don't do a lot of fried foods. Then I got some macadamia nuts. I love nuts so much. I have a lot of snacks so I just bought this one. I don't think I have let me shut up let me shut up let me shut up i got some macadamia nuts they were like 200 and something i love them i got some baked beans because yeah i'm looking for more options for breakfast and this could be a good option and then I got some Dawat Fusili pasta. I haven't had pasta in a very long time and I have some minced meat so I want to do like a little dish. I think I'll even do that for dinner today and I will see if yeah, I will be doing it more often. But the thing is wheat bloats me so I try to avoid it but it is what it is. It is what it is. Then I got my favorite rice, the pearl basmati rice. I know I keep hoping from Dawat 
to pearl to sunrise back to the what pearl to sunrise but for the last few months i've just been getting pearl and it hasn't disappointed me so we are sticking with pearl for now and let me tell you this 2kg bag was 780 shillings and i almost got a panic attack then i remembered i worked so hard and i deserve nice rice and i paid for it but i need to work harder bottom line bottom line i need to work harder then quite a shocker i got myself some dengo i don't know how that happened but i think today by the way we were shopping with cravings here our cravings were here and i just imagined dengu in coconuts with chapati and i was just like i'm getting it i'm getting it so i'll boil the dengu and then of course store and um enjoy with chapatis yeah i'll make some chapatis and enjoy with my dengu then that's the snacks to poo so I got myself some flavored water, flavored water, not to even drink in the house, but when I need to leave, I can toss one into my handbag and have some nice refreshing water for the trip to wherever I'm going. I don't even know, but I love this. This is Aquamist, pineapple, strawberry, and orange. So it's that. And then I just spoke about the cravings and you know, you guys know, you guys know I never go to Kafo and live without their black forest cake. It's probably the best black forest cake in the country. I've tried so many black forest cakes and some have either too much sugar, too much chocolate, too much oil. There's just some imbalance somewhere. But Kafo's black forest cake has the right amount of sugar, the right amount of chocolate, the right amount of moist, the right amount of cream. It's just magic. Just try it and let me know. And if you find another one that's better than this, tell us. Thank you very much. Then here are the other baking sodas. The one that packed for me today was kind of having a rough day. I don't know. I don't know. Then I got some yogurt. This is the Lucky Lucky Dairy. I love this so much. They have like a sweet fruit syrup at the bottom. This is raspberry and the other one is blueberry. I just got the two of them because I have some yogurts left and I don't take yogurt a lot, maybe once or twice a week. So this should be enough. And then I got some little mix Fini. I love the Fini little mix. I take this after taking my supplements because they are not the tastiest things on earth. So I need to clean my palate with these ones. But now they've become addictive and I am just eating all of them like in one sitting. We will try and manage this time around. Then I got some oyster sauce because I want to explore like stir fries and that kind of things like that kind of food i want to explore a lot of stir fry dishes and i know oyster sauce is a big ingredient in stir fries so we will see that then i got some rosemary i have some rosemary in my balcony garden but i need this dried one because i feel like that is not mature enough for me to use and i need this for tea sometimes or potatoes or something of the sort yeah Basically, I had no business buying rosemary with rosemary on my balcony, but I was like, I cannot not have rosemary because of my tea. Then I got this black pepper, the one that comes with a crusher, because I want to be having freshly ground black pepper on my eggs and anywhere else I need to spice my food. Yeah. So that's basically it. And then I got some capsicum, red and yellow. That's it. Then I have some milk, of course, for my tea and for my baking recipes if I do bake. Last but not least, and the most expensive thing in my haul today, butter. Somebody tell me why 500 grams of butter is 930 shillings. What happened? What happened? Like, we are raising cows. The cows are producing milk. We are selling the milk. Where are they taking the milk for us to not have butter and for butter to be this expensive? What is going on? 
what is happening somebody tell brookside and the rest to stop overcharging us for butter because the cows are still there the cows are still producing milk where why is butter expensive why why honestly this was so painful to buy but i was just like the only way i'm able to tolerate my eggs is by making them using butter and i also use it for my caramel popcorn i just have so many uses with butter i was just like you know what let me get it close my eyes and not talk to anybody until i get to the counter anyway that's the last item and that has been my entire haul for today i am sorted for the rest of may and even june probably guys i know you're getting tired of my many hauls but the thing is we are getting there yeah so that's it i'm happy with my purchases today i didn't overindulge i only got the cakes and the sweets yeah i didn't overdo it i didn't overdo it i bought everything that i needed the only thing i forgot was sugar but it's just a kilo i can buy uku karibu and that's it yeah so thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for watching the haul let me know uh what your monthly uh stock up looks like let me know what you have in your cut every month let me know what you go over so fast and let's compare notes let me know what you buy most let me know what you spend most of your money on let me know all your tricks and tips for saving in this economy because yeah we need to save something anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye